Are you guys ready for some archaeology? Because scientists believe they have discovered a new species of humanoid. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Wood and we're going to talk to you about some new human specimens here on IO. Before we get started, I have to ask you guys, what do you think is the coolest science? Because let's not kid ourselves, science is cool. Out in South Africa, scientists believe they have discovered another link in the chain of human evolution. They announced their findings on September 10th, 2015 at a press conference. In a cave 30 miles northwest of Johannesburg, a site was discovered in 2013 that contained 1,550 specimens. Scientists believe that all these specimens represent at least 15 individuals. This actually marked the largest discovery of human remains in Africa. While the original finding of the cave was two years Years ago, it has taken a while to catalog, log, and analyze a lot of these specimens. The fossils displayed a mix of both human and primitive characteristics and has been named Homo naledi. Homo is the evolutionary group that includes modern man and our closest relatives, while naledi is a word in the local language. Scientists believe that these creatures walked upright, were a little over five feet tall, and that they had a brain that was three times smaller than that of modern man. There are also some who speculate, since they cannot determine how all these bodies came to be in this cavern that this was a burial site and hence perhaps these humanoids buried their dead. However, researchers are still trying to determine the exact age of the fossils. This creature is of course causing some debate. Not all evolutionaries believe that South Africa has anything more to yield in the realm of fossils. They state this even though in the early half of the 20th century so many fossils and new species were discovered in this region that it became known as the cradle of humankind. Some such as Tim White from the University of Berkeley feel that this is actually an example of a primitive version of Homo erectus, a species that was discovered and categorized in the early 1800s. Of course, there is excitement to see how far back the train of humanity actually stretches. But science is a slow process and it will be a while before everything is fully cataloged, peer reviewed, and ready to be released without any contestation to the public. Decades perhaps, because academia is nothing if not slow. These are of course merely cliff notes. There are far more technical descriptions in the link down below. So please click it and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for even more videos. Bye!